What we're going to do now is uh, first talk about the history of DJing and basically where uh, hip-hop DJs came from is originated, the music itself and the culture originated from Bronx, New York. And the ones who started the music basically were three DJs, African Mabata, Cool Herc, and Grandmaster Flash. So those are the three DJs that pretty much started hip-hop music. They are, they are the backbone of hip-hop music. Um, also, for those who don't know, scratching came um, was also uh, came from another DJ who was uh, used to be a partner, a younger partner of uh, Grandmaster Flash, whose name of uh, Grand Wizard Theodore. He's the person who invented scratching. Now, what we're gonna do is now uh, talk about uh, the basic techniques before uh, before we go into a, a more live demonstration. Just in case any of you didn't know how this hip hop thing started, it. This is an art that um, the inner city youth, you know, kids who didn't have music programs, who didn't have access to instruments, what they did was they took their mom and pop's record players and they found records with, with dope drum breaks on them and they'd get two copies and, and they would master the art of, of rocking this two, two, four bar break over and over between two turntables. And this is before mixers even had cueing systems, so a lot of these guys were just dropping the needle on the break Boom, two bars, dropping the needle on the break. And that's the whole start of all this hip hop music you hear now. Now we have samplers, now we have drum machines, but it all started from DJs just doing that. And the DJs were the ones who started everything. Everything revolved around the music. You know, before you knew it, the graffiti kids were coming around. You know, the dancing, B-boys actually means break boys, you dance on the break. MCs were second to the DJ. MCs were come to rock over the beats and hype up the crowd for the DJs. You know, so, from all that, what we have now, a little less than 20, what about 20 years later, is um, you know we're doing now. Short gonna do. Yeah, for short right is now. gonna demonstrate uh, mixing, which is the basis of uh, what a DJ must know before he even learns how to scratch. You must have, you must know how to have your timing and rhythm, basically. So uh, what uh, shortcut will do is demonstrate two records, two different records, and beat mix. <laughs> This is playing two different records, and it was using the pitch control on the turntable to match up the speed on, on the other turntable. If you notice too, it's also using the side platter to like slow down the record to adjust the speed and use the pitch control. At the same time, he can use his headphones to cue up the turntable so he can hear the other sound before mixing and switching the record. The fader, when you see the main crossfader on the mixer is what shows the transition from one turntable to another, or you can hear it both at the same time. Well now, shortcut is going to demonstrate is called back music. Basic back spinning. And what back spinning is, ladies and gentlemen, is taking two copies of the same record, repeating a, maybe a four bar phrase or an eight bar break, and then giving a continuous loop, like a sample. And at the same time, if you notice, these He's cutting in snares or kicks, different parts of the record, that have different effects. Ladies and gentlemen, those are basic uh, techniques of mixing. So, what we're going to do now, uh, both Babu and Shortcut are going to do demonstrate different techniques of scratching. A little different evolution uh, from the simple scratch to maybe the more hardcore scratching. Uh, Babu, ready? Yes. All right. <laughs> <laughs>
what you're going to do is uh, do the technique called baby scratch, which is the very simple scr scratching. That's what you call baby scratching. It's basically, <laughs> it's basically just rubbing the record back and forth, giving a a, a rhythm percussion sound. That's just, that's the, how the essence of scratching first started out. Uh, the next scratching technique we'll have are uh, are stabs. Uh, Shortcut will uh, demonstrate the stabs. <laughs> Basically, what he's doing is moving the up and down fader and. <laughs> Excuse me, I, I'm kind of nervous at doing this. He's moving the record up and down, uh, putting up uh, the volume up, letting the sound go, and then putting the volume down before you hear in the back scratch. And and then he's doing a percussion move to stimulate a stab. What we call a stab. And that's what we call a stab scratch. Well, let's demonstrate what's called the chirp scratch, which sounds like a, a bird chirping. That's what you call a chirp scratch. What basically what he's doing is taking the main crossfader and uh, moving it fast. And the same thing as a stab, but more and more of a... a how would you say? It's more of a it's more of a baby scratch, and um, and, you're, and you're, the timing of the fader is different. Where you're cutting off, um, cutting the time in half. Yeah, yeah, you're cutting the time in half. So real slow, it's gonna be like. Uh... Whoa, that's the wrong scratch. How I always tell people to do it is, is uh, if you're regular on the fader, it's uh, both hands are going away and in at the same time. So it's... Chirp. And we get the name Chirp, I don't even know, if, you know, these are names that we just call scratches, there's no official scratch book out there, but we, we call that one a scratch because if anyone listened to Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince, you know, there's a, there's a part on the first record where, where um, Will Smith says to Jeff, he says, uh, yo, make it, make it chirp like a bird, and, and, and he was hitting something like a, a whistle from Just Buggin'. And he would hit it, and the, 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 and it would sound just like a bird. So you they called it a chirp. So you do that pretty good. Thank you. <laughs> chirp. <laughs> All right, our next scratch we're gonna do is called transforming, which also was uh, introduced by Jazzy Jeff. Uh, was made, invented by uh, a DJ spin band from Philadelphia. So. Uh, oh. Transforming scratch sounds like if, if you guys are familiar with the, the cartoon called the Transformers. Does anyone remember that? Okay, so basically, if you watched the cartoon, you would see the robot transform into a car, and it would have this sound effect going, ear, 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 ear. and thus far is how you got the Transforming scratch. Yeah, we got to give credit for uh, to Cash Money for getting that out there too. Exactly. I think I think Jeff may have put it on record first, but you know there was definitely other cats I think in Philly doing that and. Um, Spin bad, yeah, and I think if you heard Jazzy Jeff do it on, uh, I, you know, going back to Rock the House, or, or was it on Live in Union Square? It was on Live in Union Live Square, Union Square yes. and and he was cutting up this um, this famous b-boy break called uh, what's it? Dance the Jungle's Beat, and the and the, the particular note he scratched really sounded like the cartoon. Uh, what Short Short's doing here is he's he's using a different sound, but if you ever get to hear this Jazzy Jeff record, what he was really doing, you know, you know, and, and the Fresh Prince even said, you know you know, make it sound like a transformer, and the shit really sounded like the cartoon. Like, he was like, oh, 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 you know what I mean? So, that's where that one came from. And, uh, what's our next scratch, right? Okay, now we're going to... 